welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be sharing my December Ipsy. I know this has been like super overdue. I do have a little free bonus added into that and I redeemed my Ipsy points. If you guys aren't familiar with your Ipsy points, what it is is just points that you've accumulated when you have uh, done surveys with each of the products that you've gotten each month. Let them know how you liked it, give them some feedback, or you can also earn points and have people use your link to sign up for Ipsy. I didn't realize I had so many points and I was like, you know what, let me redeem these because I think they expire and um, I didn't want them to expire because I wasn't sure how long it took for them to expire so I was like let me just redeem them and I had about 1500 points I ended up using them on a ColourPop eyeshadow six piece and it's so cute I'm so excited I've been wanting to try ColourPop out for a while so I'm really excited that I ended up getting this set for free and it's like really really worth it. So I'm really excited about sharing this video with you guys because I get to try out the shadows for the first time. have not opened them and I've had this bag for almost a month now and I've seriously been holding back so I can share this moment with you guys. <laughs> What's in the bag is I got the Pacifica Power of Love Natural Lipstick and I'm really excited about the shade. Got some Ardell lashes and these are in the 120 Demi's. And then I got some uh, Mark Anthony Hydrating Coconut Oil with Shea Butter and this is a conditioning treatment so you will not be seeing this in my hair today but I'm really excited about using that. I did get a Model Co Illusion Lip Liner as well as Elizabeth Mott, ugh, as well as Elizabeth Mott's Thank Me Later Eyeshadow Primer. So this is going to be really fun to create a look with. Baby hair is messing with me today. Let me show you guys what I use to redeem my points. So this is the box and how pretty is that? Like the packaging is phenomenal. I was just like dang. This is really really good quality. If you are wondering what line this is from, it is from the Forever Freshman. Once you open it, you see the shadows and seriously how cute. I'm really really excited to dip into this and just play with I am going to start off with Elizabeth Mott's Thank Me Later eyeshadow primer. I'm just going to start with a little bit, mix the two between both fingers and apply. Ooh, this goes on really nice. I like it. Put some in the inner corners and then kind of pat it below the lash line. I don't know what shadow to start with. I'm pulling out the shadow crimper. I'm gonna highlight my brow bone. Oh, that the shadow so pretty. I like it because it has like a mousse feel to it, but it also like dries in powder form. I don't even know how to explain it. it feels really nice though. Just above the brow bone, just a little bit. Now I'm going to take the shadow Melrose and apply that as a transition and I'm really excited about this shade. It's like a matte maroon. So I'm going to start, whoa, look how pigmented that is, holy crap. I legit just dipped a little bit of it on my brush. Start in my crease and I'm just going to like bring it up. Really pretty color though. So how has y'all's New Year's been? Cannot believe it's already 2016 and I'm making a video for Dece December 2015, seriously. <laughs> and do not mind that crucial pimple. My genius self tried to pop it right before I started filming, which I don't even know why. It's so bad for you to pop the urge. My year has so far has been great. Last year was amazing. I had an amazing opportunity to travel. My husband and I got to go to Peru. We got to see both our family. Family is on the East Coast in North Carolina and then his family is on the West Coast in Arizona. So I mean we got to see both of them this year which has definitely been you know blessing. We did some traveling to um, Texas in the beginning of the year. Checked out San Antonio. We also went to uh, D.C. towards the end of the year in October and he ran the Marine Corps Marathon there so that was cool. I don't even know what shade to use now. So now I'm going to go in with 90210 use it on my lid. 
really excited to see what 2016 has to offer. I'm definitely looking forward to this year. We've got some plans, so it's gonna be a good year, I feel. Can't believe my daughter's about to turn four. Time flies, it's just crazy to me how fast it flies. It kind of has like a cool tone like look to it. It does look a little warm, but like when you apply it on the eye, it definitely has more of a cooler tone look on the eye. And I like that. Wow, and then like the glitter definitely stayed. You know sometimes when you see shadow and then it has like the glitter speck on like the top and you're like, oh, this is gonna be so pretty on the eye, but then the glitter doesn't like end up showing and you're like, I thought there was glitter in this. No, this one definitely stayed. You can see it as I move around. It sparkles. I like going with as if. These names are so cute. I'm gonna kind of put that in the crease. It's another pretty color to blend in with the crease. I've legit been wanting to make this video for the past like few weeks now and I just haven't had the time to do it. I need to do some like better planning when it comes to timing because I think I have the whole world to plan stuff and then I end up always running out of time and it probably doesn't help that I procrastinate a bunch when I really don't have time to even procrastinate. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go in with baby tea and I'm gonna use this to smudge out my lower lash line. I'm just gonna go in with a shadow brush and I'll blend that on my lower lash line. shade is Koosh and I'm going to use this to highlight my inner corners if I can ever find a brush. So the yes. I'm going to use a little bit on my finger. I like that my finger kind of warms up the shadow a little bit so that's why I like using that method. You see how like much more like pigmented the highlight is now? Work is actually going great. I enjoy working. That's as weird as it sounds. You don't know, I do work at Ulta Beauty and um, I started in October. I've been working there for the past few months and I enjoy it. I actually love what I'm doing right now so it's really a lot of fun and I also like that um, I'm still able to have time to hang out with my babies and be there for them when Jessie's at work. It's just been going really great. I like, I like where we're at right now. like withdraws with my hair I want to go back to to dyeing it but I really don't need to dye my hair <laughs> seriously just need to let it breathe because I've like had the red hair for so long it was like what th two years over two years that I had red hair and I was like yeah it's time to change it up and now that I've had it this color which I absolutely love my dark hair but since I've had it this color I'm just like I still wanted this color. I got plans on changing it, but we'll see if I ever do that. What color this liner is gonna look like? Hopefully, it's not too pink. Wow, yes! I love that. Look at this swatch. Yes, I love that. It is definitely not this color. Remove what I have on my lip. Love the lip liner. I'm gonna open up the lipstick and use the shape. Oh yeah. <gasps> oh hell no! I just twisted it up and it came apart. Seriously? The color's very pretty. It's actually very similar to the Monaco lip liner. Yeah, it's like almost dead on the same exact shade. I 
really like that lipstick. It's really pretty with the bolder type eyes too because I do have a lot going on on the eyes. So now for the lashes. my final look using December's Ipsy and like I said I did redeem my points for the ColourPop shadows so not everyone's gonna get them but I did want to share it since it was included in my Ipsy bag. Alright ladies, so I guess that is everything for this video. Like this video if you enjoyed watching, and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would greatly appreciate it. I will also list my Twitter, my Facebook page, my Instagram, and my vlogging channel around this area, so definitely go check that out. Thank you so much for watching ladies, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!